think one of the interesting things about Elephant and Castle is it is its own one and it has an established community. It's not like we're in the middle of nowhere and we're having to create a community and create a buzz. What we're trying to do is, is work off what's already there. Essentially to create a new town centre, but to do so in an area that's already vibrant uh, and uh, a very interesting part of London, sitting on fantastic transport in Zone 1. It's a project with an ambition to create change, but actually to deliver that change in a way that's very sympathetic to what's around. The homes that we will deliver, we're already delivering over 400 homes in our Phase 1 project. And we've got residential buildings which are clustered in families. Um, there's a family of buildings that are um, more predominantly glassy and with elements of um, stone and, and precast concrete. Another one is more defined by brick of different textures and tonalities. With an ambition really to deliver them into ideally a long-term rental tenure as we are already at the Olympic Park in Stratford at East Village. And the essence of, of that model is to deliver housing for people living and working in London who will want to rent properties rather than buy. In terms of the rental offering, we're very happy with the product we've delivered through Get Living London, which is essentially a, a, a long-term lease arrangement. Our standard lease is three years, so our residents aren't worried year on year whether the landlord may be serving notice or not. Over that period, our rents rise by CPI, which is actually pretty much zero at the moment but we're a very long-term investor and that's fine, that's the deal and uh, we want our residents to have some certainty on their rental outgoings over that period. In terms of transport, we're also working with TfL to deliver a new Northern Line station to create much enhanced capacity in an area that will definitely need it. Well, University of the Arts London as they now are and London College of Communication has been there 50 years I think and are very well established in the local area, the local community. They wanted to stay in the local area but obviously their existing campus, they do great things with it but actually the, the property and the buildings are holding them back. The, the really big wins come when you can get a really strong critical mass of staff and students in buildings that are very permeable really to the community and acting as a magnet for the community and the development which we're planning at Elephant and Castle is exactly that. At the moment the Kubrick Archive is hidden away in the corner of the, our existing building and we very much want it to be at the front of our building. It's a really important archive, it's a place where a lot of people want to come and see and we're really struggling for space in there at the moment as well in, in how we're able to bring people in. So we really see this new site as being the home of the Kubrick Archive as well as some of our other really significant important archives that we have. The existing shopping centre is very much a barrier to movement but in, in all other senses as well and I think what we're doing is, is creating a, a much more vibrant mixed feel, uh, open streets, a proper town centre. Which will be a combination of major retailers but alongside more local retailers and creating a neighbourhood from the town centre out and beyond into the wider residential neighbourhood. This is a scheme that is very extroverted. Um, the routes in and out are always within sight. It is open to the sky. In fact, it will be open 24-7. Long after the shops have closed, um, these routes will remain open. And combined with that, there's leisure uses and the cultural aspect that the college and the music venue will bring as well. There is a huge risk of trying to unsympathetically land a new shiny town centre into a place that already exists. And, and the skill for us as a developer is to knit it in an authentic way into the fabric that already exists, improve things that are just not right and not good, but not change things that are absolutely right and very good. And I think there's a, a very careful and sympathetic job we are entrusted to do to make that work.